What's up guys, I'm Andrew and today I'm going to be showing you how to host your own free multiplayer Minecraft server for version 1.19 on Mac. Let's get started. So before we do anything, what we need to do is make sure we have Java installed. If you don't, there's a card on screen right now linking to my video. Go ahead and click that, follow the tutorial, and then we're good to go. But if you do, we can just continue from here, and now let's start our Minecraft server. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up any internet browser, however I personally recommend Google Chrome, and search for Minecraft server. Just like that, and go to this one that says Minecraft.net, Minecraft server download, or just go ahead and click the first link in the description. Now once you're here, you want to go to this download Minecraft server 1.19.jar, go ahead and click that, it'll give you a .jar file. So wait for it to finish loading here. Now you can drag that to your desktop. And now you can minimize your browser for now. And now that we have our server.jar file, what we need to do is go ahead and right click on our desktop, just click new folder and name it server. Now go ahead and drag your server.jar into the server folder. Open the server folder. And now what you need to do is go ahead and go to launchpad, go to other and find terminal. If you can't find it, just do command space and just search for terminal. But once you have it open, what you need to do is run the command cd desktop. This is just um, giving your terminal a directory to this folder. So cd desktop, just like that. Then we need to do cd server, or the name of your folder. And now we need to type ls, which is just listing the components in this folder. Now we need to run java space dash jar space server dot jar now i can run this so once you've done this you can go ahead and close this terminal window and you should see that you have five more files here so now what we need to do is go ahead and go to this eula dot text and then just right click open with text edit and once we're here you should see that um it says eula equals false we just want to delete this change it to true and go ahead and hit save just file save and now you can close this so now what we need to do is go ahead and open up a new text edit file go ahead and click new document and paste the text in the description into this box right here so i'm just going to copy this command c command v and now we have a couple decisions to make so this two these twos right here uh, decide how much RAM you want to allocate to this server. Um, if you have no clue what I'm talking about, two is good for you. Um, I have 32 gigabytes of RAM on my computer, so I'm going to bump it up to six. This will just make it run just a little bit faster. And now what you need to do, once you've entered your RAM amount that you want, go ahead and go to format up here and click make plain text. Okay. This will convert it to a command that your computer can run. Now you need to do is go to save. It will ask where you want to save it. Save as you want to call it start dot command. So just like that, all lowercase, and just make sure it's uh, located in your server folder. Go ahead, hit save. And you should see a new file pop up here. You can now close this text edit window. So now what we need to do is open our start.command file, and as you can see when I do this, I get an error. What we need to do is go ahead and open up terminal and type these exact characters. So type chmod a plus x, and then drag your start.command file into here, hit enter, and now you can close this. And you should see that when you open start.command, it should open just fine. And now your Minecraft world is actually going to start loading. So now your Minecraft world and server is up and running, but only available to yourselves. So what we need to do to make it available for anyone else to play is we need to port forward it. So to port forward our server, what we need to do is go ahead and open up Google Chrome again and just Google port map. Go ahead and uh, click this one by coding monkeys DE, or just go ahead and click the second link in the description and click this download link right here should bring you to a github page then what you want to do is go ahead and click this package right here under the assets tab should give you a little dot zip file and drag that to your desktop close your browser and this is the application we will use to actually port forward our server 
So now that we have our .zip file, what we need to do is go ahead and double click this. It will give you an application called port map. Just go ahead and double click this guy. Click open. And now it will open up this little window. So as you see at the top of the window, there should be a couple of numbers. And um, I'm, I've blurred these out because these are IP addresses and they relate to your location among various other things. So this is how people will join to your Minecraft server. So just be careful who you give this number out to. But this number, this big number uh, right by my mouse right here is the number that we're going to be using. So just um, write it down, copy it onto a note or something. What we need to do is go ahead and click this plus button. Under local port right here, type 25565, just like that. And you can call the description whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Just leave this blank and make sure protocol is TCP. Go ahead and add mapping. And once the screen light pops up, that means you're good to go. So now what we need to do is go ahead and open up Minecraft and go to this multiplayer tab right here. Go to add server and you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it like that. And then you can go ahead and enter that number that you wrote down into the server address box. So once you've entered that number, you can go ahead and click done. As you can see, your Minecraft server should be right here. I can go ahead and join it. And there we go. I am in my Minecraft server. So as of now, I can't use any commands and I'm not a server operator. So to do that, all I need to do is open up the terminal that was opened when we made our server and then just type slash op and then your Minecraft username. There we go. Hit enter. It says dippyfresh08 is now a server operator. And as I, when I go back to Minecraft, it says that in Minecraft as well, so I can do all the commands and stuff like that. And now that your server set up, what you can do to invite your friends is to go ahead and um, give them that number that you wrote down and add it to the server so you can just do it the same exact way we did it. And then name whatever you want, type in the server address, which is that number, and then they can join your server. So now to stop your server, all you need to do is first disconnect from your server within Minecraft by pressing escape and then clicking the disconnect button. And now you can go to your desktop and you should see a little terminal window. If not, just go ahead and click this little terminal icon down here and it should pop up. And now what you need to do once you're here is go ahead and type stop and then press enter all lowercase, just press enter. And then it'll say process completed and your server has officially stopped. And to reopen your server, all you need to do is go ahead and double click the start.command file and it'll open the, up this terminal window and it'll start loading your world. And once it's done, that means your server is back online and you can go join it. And that's it guys. It's that simple to make a Minecraft server for 1.19 on Mac. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.